Blessed Sunday morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, and thankful to have all of you on today on social media to be a little part of your world. Thank you for inviting me to be a part of your life today as we go through the thought for the day. For that, as always, on Sunday morning, I try to encourage us to go to church if we can go providentially to glorify the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in us and us in him, as the Apostle Paul reminded us in 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 12. Also, I would ask you to keep a family uh, of mine and family that uh, goes to my church in prayer, keep them in prayer, family friends of theirs, um, two of their daughters, four and two years old, drowned last night in a uh, pool. I believe it was a pool or a uh, pond. Uh, they died at the hospital late last night, and it's just a tremendous tragedy. We got news of this late last night. And it's just a reminder of the brevity of life here on earth. But I would just be thankful for your prayers in this matter. It was just a horrible tragedy, horrible tragedy that uh, this family is enduring right now. But the thought for the day goes to Leviticus chapter 27. We conclude the book of Leviticus. And this book really taught me about uh, how we are to live holy lives unto the Lord and obey the commands of God. And here in Leviticus chapter 27, as I was going through this chapter of the Bible, verse 26, it speaks about how the firstborn ox or sheep belong to the Lord. And I wanted to speak about sheep. Um, we are the sheep of God's pasture. Psalm 100 verse 3 reminds us. Uh, I could tell you in my own personal life, I am thankful to God that as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ spoke about in Luke chapter 15, verses 4 to 7, that God oftentimes will leave the 99 sheep to go after that one sheep that goes astray. So many times in my life I have gone astray from the sheepfold of God, but he's always brought me back because Jesus Christ is the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. John chapter 10, verse 11. We're reminded in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20, that Jesus Christ is the great shepherd of his people. First uh, Peter chapter 5, verse 4, Christ is the chief shepherd of his people. And so we who are sheep, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 6 and 7 tells us that we are like sheep. Christ became like a lamb and like a sheep to die for our sins, but now he is, as I said before, our chief shepherd, our great shepherd, because now he has rose from the grave, conquered death, and is on our behalf interceding for us and mediating for us between us and God. But we as human beings are like sheep, as Isaiah 53 verse 6 tells us. We go astray. Sheep are very dumb animals. They will go right up to a wolf or a bear and say, hello, here I am. How are you? And get devoured and chewed up. They need a shepherd to protect them, watch over them. Sheep are very stubborn animals. They don't need, they don't like to be cleaned. They actually have to be forced to be cleaned. And we as human beings by nature are dumb. We are stubborn. Try to get into a political conversation with someone today that doesn't agree with you and watch what happens. Everybody has to have their own way. Uh, that's being stubborn, proud. Uh, my friends, we are by nature people who will go astray, but thank God he keeps us in the sheepfold. He protects us. He watches over us. And just as much as we need, first and foremost, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, as the chief shepherd, because without him, we can't do nothing. As John chapter 15, verse 4 and 5 tells us, he is the vine, we are the branches, and apart from him, we can't do nothing. We need his word. We need his counsels. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1 reminds us that the counsels of God of old are faithfulness and truth. We need to be under his word and we need each other. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 14 says, Without a counsel of uh, a multitude of counsel, there is danger. But in the multitude of counsel, there is refuge. You see, by nature, we want to do things our own way. Like that old Burger King slogan, have it your own way. That is not how we live our lives. We live our lives following the word of God, the counsels of God. 
following Christ, our Lord and Savior, the living word. And oftentimes we also need counsel from others, listening to advice. By nature, sheep will not listen to advice. They're going to go their own way and do what they want to do. And they're going to suffer for it. My friends, look back in your own life. How often times have you done things your own way? Instead of listening to the advice of others. We live in a country here in America where so many people, and I'm guilty of this myself, are, as my grandmother used to say, and I'm half Italian, she used to say about me when I was a kid, my grandson is gabados, testadora. In other words, hard-headed, stubborn. She used to say my grandson's head is like that wall, the concrete wall, will not listen. When people would tell me that the sky was blue, I would say, no, it's gray. If my mother or my grandmother told me to go to the left, I went to the right. That's who we are by nature. But my friends, if we will stay under the hearing of God's word, obey his word, the written word, the Bible, the living word, Jesus Christ, and others like pastors, as I said before, we need each other, evangelists, uh, good teachers on the internet, a good solid church. We need good solid Christian fellowship. We will stay away from trouble. But as I said before, our nature today is it's got to be all about me, what I want, how I want things done. I am not speaking at you, but with you. This is how I am also by nature. I come out here, I do these devotional videos. I quote the word of God as much as I can. Whatever chapter I go through in the Bible, I try to quote the scriptures as much as I can and apply it to everyday life. And oftentimes people will unfriend me, unsubscribe, uh, get angry and upset because their feathers were ruffled. Well, <clears throat> that's what the word of God is going to do. The word of God, as Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12 and 13 tells us, is like a sword. It's going to pierce us. It's going to cut us. It's going to convict us. You often hear me say this. That the function of the Holy Spirit, one of the functions of the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ told us in John chapter 16, verse 8, is to convict us of sin. When someone brings the word of God, it's going to, it's going to prune you. It's going to, it's going to hurt. But my friends, you have a choice to make. You could humble yourself and take the advice of what somebody else is saying from the word of God. Or you could become proud and be like the sheep that we're talking about today and go about things your own way, the way you want to do it. But in the end, as Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12 tells us, there's a way that seems right to man, but the end result will lead to death. My friends, if you try to do things the way you want to do it, you might get away with it for a while. You might be able to hide from God and from others, but ultimately everything will be exposed. Everything will be made known. I would rather now at this point in my life, and I struggle because the flesh is weak. In my flesh, I still want to be like the sheep and do things my own way. But I find that I truly prosper in life when I submit myself to God and his word. I hope today's devotional video, my friends, will remind us to follow the chief shepherd of our souls, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We do that by coming to his word, by being obedient to his word, uh, submitting to his authority, and listening to the advice of others. If they're giving you good advice, now be careful. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33 reminds us, bad company corrupts good morals. Don't listen to everybody. I get on this platform, as you often hear me, I try to quote the scriptures as much as I can because I don't want you to see and hear me. I want you to hear what the word of God has to say through me. And I will be held accountable as one who it teaches a little bit on social media. James chapter 3 speaks of this. I will be held more accountable if I'm not faithful to what the word of God has to say. I'm not here to be popular. I have to be faithful to what God's word says. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video. Today, maybe we were reminded we're not lions, we're not elephants, we're sheep in need of our shepherd, Jesus Christ. In his name I pray. God bless you.